Today we're taking a look at a Biostar M6 TLG motherboard. This is an ATX form factor motherboard with a socket 370, but with a twist. This motherboard has the Intel 440LX chipset. The 440LX was the second generation Pentium 2 chipset released in 1997. Socket 370 didn't hit the market until 1999, where it was introduced together with the Intel i810 Whitney chipset. The 440LX at this stage was only relegated to very low cost and low end systems, which makes it an extremely odd choice for this motherboard, and that makes this board a certified oddity that's worth repairing. What is this? It's an M6 TL. G. Soccer 370 with, with an LX. LX? Oh. This is some of what? those odd decisions were made to motherboards. An LX chipset on a 370 with it's three like, ISOs. Sounds like Biostar. I suspect so. Like I suspect so. <laughs> this board came from a scrap hole. When I first got it, it didn't do anything. No postcodes, and the CPU stayed cold. Inspection revealed that the CPU voltage regulator wasn't producing any voltage. Therefore, the CPU remained unpowered and would not run. On this board, the CPU voltage regulator is controlled by an LM2636 by National Semiconductor. Much like my previous video, this controller is a 5-bit programmable buck regulator controller. What you see me doing here is probing its many pins using an oscilloscope. It appeared that the input signals were all fine, however the chip produced no discernible output. A few pins were in implausible state and none of the outputs had anything that resembled normal operation. There was no visible switching frequency and the gate drive for the low side and high side end channel MOSFETs were stuck in their initial state. Since the MOSFETs weren't shorted and the chip wasn't getting hot, it was my conclusion that this chip had died. Now I do have quite a substantial collection of scrap donor boards, however none of them had an LM2636 or a compatible chip on them, which means I had to go a different route. On eBay everything was kind of expensive, with a single chip costing between 10 and 20 euros. I didn't want to pay that much, so I looked to the glorious Far East. Our Lord and Savior AliExpress came to the rescue. A brand new LM2636 could have been mine for only 66 cents a chip. That looked like a very good price to me, so I ordered it. It only took about a week and a half for the new chip to arrive, so I decided to get right to work and put it in. So I first started with desoldering the old chip using a hot air gun and then taking it off. And wicking up the leftover solder from the pads. Soldering the new chip in using drag soldering and a chisel tip. making sure that all of the pins are soldered properly. Schau mal, was er uns sagt. 